Oh, okay. Um, okay, um, LPS Classic Vlog Time again, and I'm outside now, and the sun is get bad because of freaky fucking weather. <laughs> so, thank you, bad weather, <laughs> for the no fun thing. Anyway, for this week, we have Helicopter Dad, written by Evan Gore and Heather Lombard. So, in this episode, um, Blank Dad starts hanging out with her at school and starts hanging out with her more in general, and eventually starts becoming a bit of a nuisance to her. Meanwhile, New Pet comes to pick up with a tortoise who stays in her shell and figures they come out, which Minka does not like because she wants to make new friends. Go. This thing I put Koro on the right side, not that people would necessarily hate it, from my understanding, people with a fan base, I mean, it's not my general. It's like, you really, you really like it and think it's like a really good one, or you're like, eh, you just don't care for it. I don't think anyone would really hate it, because I think both it is on that device, kind of like with their variety of other dramatic episode, which is probably because of this, I mean, that could have liked they went back to doing more comedic ones. But it's interesting about this one is that they don't have to throw back credit on this one. Between. They come out of this by themselves, which is kind of interesting. This one does have more comedic moments than Penny for Laugh because it's about rising. So, a lot more comedy in general. But anyway, I like it, but it kind of keep a problem. But at the same time, you know, I don't like I like it. I do keep a problem, though. Because like, the plot we had from the kind of plot before, going and Bear, by her dad. And whatever, and it typically in quarter plot that is genuinely being like bad and embarrassing or whatever. But they have to go, ah, no, 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 she shouldn't have been, you know, embarrassed by coming embarrassing. It's like, but, you know, and that can couple of my problem with that. And, and the fact that Roger and Cole Strick will kind of say to begin with, and they can be only up to really focus on that and go like, after the cat, that would really after the cat. I have one could be Nike at the start of it, which I like. But how do I that? Um, you know, and then and I argue with Flynn writing them a bit because he doesn't do all these crazy things that like do. But to be fair, I, for most of the he does stuff like this, so like, we just don't see him that often. But he usually really do crazy things, so I kind of let that slide. But um, I can kind of, but uh, before we get deep in that, I probably should talk about the plot because it's basically a friendly type plot, and um, um, uh, it's about Deacon, I think. Again, it reached that more a little better than that because of but it had like some problem that uh, Becky, I do the Braveheart fairly awesome. <laughs> so I can do the story fan can keep going very enjoyable. Um, you know, and again, in general, it gets some key make a quarter go cranky and make a few good jokes. And in the end, you know, we're more of a moral about some people want to be alone. But at the same time, all the ducks come out, Becky probably out of pity, it's like, okay, okay, you've learned your life, okay, you're like, like, it can not be good to go properly in the lesson about a couple of young. But again, yeah, she gets what she wants, and eventually I have a whole stick about, they were hanging out together all the time now, it's like, again, it seems like learning her life properly, you know, we can learn it. That could have been written better, is what I'm thinking. I mean, friend D does reach the moral trying to teach, I think, so the advantage of that when I go to one of you from probably better. But I can follow a song called Mura then uh, being a fair go sort of a song that Roger and Blythe had. Yeah, which is a nice, nice nice. Um Um other side note, Josh Sharp appeared, which was a second appearance and I believe for in a while. Like I he didn't appear for a while. He both leaves for very good other thing for Blythe to better find that kid. Apparently, a dog, which we never hear about again. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, which you think would have been brought up, but mm, maybe at some point. I mean, the biggest that I ever had a dog that like, got fleshed out, so maybe. Um, mm, yeah, so. so yeah. Again, this, this couple of my question would be a thing that Josh would be on for a dual kind of He vanished after this until we started developing again. Thank you, Ethan and Mark. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing on that. Um, okay, before you get one other guy, no. Vic can have a cameo, and apparently they don't know where the dad is. I'm very They were a good joke where they oh, by our own, uh, what do I call the thing? They don't know where that is, which, yeah, kind of awkward when you know, looking to see more official, because at that point, official made one appearance, and it was so small that 
they could line up with that. They can mean he did that kind of care look about them. But a few up can play a Riki that he's totally fine. So, this will more be weird because he doesn't get up and contradicted later. But still, for a comic look up, go to Rules of Pracking, but he don't know what a dad is like proper. It's like, ouch. Oh, another weird thing of that, they imply that Roger Cat King, uh, bullshit, have you heard of performing a big kitchen grab thing? That was later on, but I could probably by that point, I'll be getting the king, well, sorry. Pokemon King's fine during that song, so. But back to my critiques on the main plot. Anyway, yeah, Roger the Cat, the, the thing is, I, Ryan might not be able to handle for the balance they're trying to go for, because, Everyone likes Roger. Everyone really likes him and totally on board with him. No one goes, oh, you got it. Like, he has an antic, but everyone laughs with him. They see him and kind of dumb and embarrassing, but they enjoy him for that particular reason. And if Black Food should be embarrassed by it and not really get full into it. But then later on, the problem Kong comes to be that he is being too clingy, and the problem is that he spent too much, way too much time over, and he ended up being sort of lover. That and you know, in the end, it's trying to balance out. You're making them both like Batty and King Roger pointing. Yeah, she doesn't need to bear by him, she's just getting the flow. And yeah, you're she writing a little bit. And, you know, a couple of you might not think that balance will 100% reach because sometimes your yeah, wife might be a bit too low maybe, and sometimes Roger might be a little too um, annoying. But but I do think that I'm kind of fit with the ending, which. Again, again, I, I shouldn't have been yelled at him, maybe you should have talked things out more instead of just being mean. But in that ending, was was really sweet. Um, again, for dying for crying, and then her talking to him. Again, it got a really sweet moment that really showed a connection with him. And they do kind of direct, like, how uh, Roger goes, oh yeah, I should have, should have backed off, I don't need to be alone. But she's like, oh, I don't quite mind the bank if she's going like, if he, if he learned that, maybe I should back off a bit more, and yada yada yada, and, you know, she learned stuff as well, I'm trying to break it, you know, maybe not be too much of a, it goes with the flow, you know, again, that balancing on Hunter Cummings, but it's sweet enough, and it better more take on a plot, because, yeah, he, he, you know what, everyone likes him, people, you know, me and whatever, they, they like him, fine. Which, again, that good because they don't compare him and they probably fall almost flat. But because you come, and Roger General do like most of the time. Again, in the camp code, he might go a little bit on the side, but for the most part, he's funny. Like, I don't know. I, I, I've always really liked Roger as far as the dad goes. He's not an idiot. He's embarrassing, yeah, but he's not like a dumbass or anything of that nature. I mean, and the, the camp code about the only up because I really take, really go full force with him being like, well, come on, camp code, can you, like, you know, a lot better, and they need to do each one up for the point out. And the free ending kind of makes up for me a good one, Echo. I'm gonna call it good because the good parts are too good for me to really get weaker than that. Thank you, my ride with Batch doing more commute fooling after when we come, you know, with the paper flag cap problem. You know, yeah. where I can flag cap, I think I yeah. handled that. So, yeah. both of you have most of them all going. Yeah. Get a good that. So, so, um, well. One thing I don't quite get in how like let them just hang out here for a particular reason. It's like he he just he can clack over too and allowed to like there. But I totally want to hear a poem. <laughs> I'm a bit fine. I totally want to hear that that go. That kind of weird, but that kind of thing you have to like fly. You can throw. But overall, I'm calling kind of good. It's problematic to be sure, but got going really quick and hell kind of better. Color show and I could decent gun plot so. It, I can see why some people might not care for it. I'd say a bit too we well, meaning to be called bad or whatever. It, fine. If you find it to be mad, I, fine. It's not one of my favorites <coughs> anyway. So. But don't pick sweet and I like it. So, there you go. Oh, we had a good time. Nine minutes. Okay. Then that time, pick up the next one. And I don't. And I found a way to bring up the thing on here if I don't need the phone. Need to bring it up. Okay, here we go. 25. I. Oh crap. I know what that is. Yep, Blind Fret Project. Oh god. Pick one of the Gap Code I. The few Gap Code I have in my head of. I'd like to kind of be on that if I get Nick one of them. Go. I didn't think I'd actually get it. Go. You next week, Jack. We go and kind of lock the final box and do other things. <laughs> okay, you. You then, the guy. Here we go. 
Go ahead, Cartoon and Good. Next week, you for Black Pet Project and King of Canada for Ranking Buttercream. Goodbye, how do you do?